The web glance is such a long way out that it's catching light that has been voyaging for north of 13 billion years. Yet the universe has been extending, and thus the light has been extending for the most distant worlds we're thinking, back in time nearly to the Big Bang. The immensity of the universe might seem vast, but every last bit of it started from what we allude to as the singularity. As of now, this is how we might interpret the Big Bang hypothesis anyway. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revealed significant mysteries about the birth and development of the universe, leaving us dumbfounded. Prestigious physicist Brian Cox has proclaimed that the noteworthy discoveries made by the JWST might actually reshape our understanding of the universe as a whole. Join us as we dive into these new heavenly discoveries that promise to change our comprehension. The James Webb Space Telescope, named after the recognized NASA executive James E. Webb, remains as a wonder in current galactic investigation. This telescope addresses a huge mechanical leap forward from its ancestor, the Hubble Space Telescope, coming about because of a cooperative effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The JWST surpasses the abilities of its herald. It utilizes cutting-edge technology and a design enhanced for concentrating on the universe in remarkable detail. Not at all like the Hubble, the JWST conveys clear and sharp pictures of far-off heavenly bodies, working primarily in the infrared range. This interesting component permits it to infiltrate astronomical residue and catch divine items that were beforehand stowed away from our view. With its monster 6.5-meter essential mirror made out of 18 hexagonal sections, the JWST diminutive people the Hubble's reflector size. Situated roughly 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth at the second Lagrange point, L2, it circles the Sun in a state of harmony with Earth, guaranteeing a steady and continuous view of the universe. While looking into the far-off corners of the universe, it involves exploring light years, but it also involves a type of time travel. The JWST uses infrared instruments to notice heavenly objects and events going back billions of years. The light emitted by these objects because of the expanding universe goes through redshift, moving from the apparent range to the infrared frequency or longer. Luckily, the JWST can identify infrared light radiated by heavenly bodies at extreme distances, empowering researchers to study the introduction of stars, investigate cosmic system development, and examine exoplanet atmospheres. Its latest historic discovery involves identifying an incomprehensible mass of cosmic systems at the edge of the discernible universe. This finding challenges the validity of the theory of how things came to be, provoking a reassessment of our key cosmological assumptions. To better understand how we arrived at this point, we should take a short excursion through the history of space investigation. Early civilizations like the Greeks and Chinese laid the foundation for understanding planetary movement by noticing divine bodies. Newton's regulations in the 17th century gave a hypothetical structure for space travel. In the mid-20th century, Edwin Hubble, an influential astronomer, made historic revelations in cosmology and observational space science. His observations uncovered that far-off nebulae were isolated worlds long past the Milky Way, changing our understanding of the universe's size and expansion. Hubble's law, established by him, showed that galaxies farther away were moving away at higher rates, giving proof to the expansion of the universe. The post-World War II history of space exploration marked the beginning of the space race, with the Soviet Union's Sputnik in 1957 as the first artificial satellite in orbit, Yuri Gagarin's orbital trip in 1961, and the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969 as crucial accomplishments. Fast forward to 1990, when the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, giving exceptional clarity and stunning insights into the universe. The journey from ancient observations to the technological wonders of the James Webb Space Telescope showcases the constant development of how we might interpret the universe. It uncovered the boundlessness of space and changed fundamental thoughts in astronomy. Take the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, for instance. It snapped the famous pillars of creation image in the Eagle Nebula, revealing a star nursery formed by massive columns of gas and dust. Another significant accomplishment was the Hubble Deep Field, capturing a huge number of galaxies in seemingly a void patch of space. The HST also dove into exoplanet atmospheres, pinpointing components like water and organic molecules in distant worlds, alluding to the possibility of habitable zones beyond our solar system. 
Following the development of the closest observed supernova, SN 1987A, it shed light on the life cycle of massive stars. These achievements cemented the Hubble Space Telescope's legacy as a foundation of modern cosmology, dazzling the world with its incredible enormous discoveries. Its replacement, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was launched to expand on the technological advancements and lessons learned from a model of our understanding of the universe's origins, which today is explained by the prevailing theory of the universe's origin around 13.8 billion years ago. The universe started as a seriously hot and dense singularity, quickly expanding and giving rise to matter, energy, and fundamental forces. As the universe expanded, it cooled, leading to the formation of atoms, stars, galaxies, and the various structures observed today. The Big Bang Theory also explains cosmic microwave background radiation, light element abundance, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Despite being widely accepted, the Big Bang Theory faced skepticism and challenges in its early days. Alternative models, like the steady-state theory, proposed a universe without a specific beginning and concerns about proof supporting the initial singularity expansion and observed anomalies arose. Most of these objections were addressed over time. A significant piece of evidence came with the detection of cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965, aligning with Big Bang predictions. Space missions like COBE and WMAP, alongside technological advancements, further supported the theory. Accurate measurements of cosmic microwave background radiation adjusted strikingly well with theoretical forecasts. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with advanced infrared instruments that can look through cosmic dust. The JWST, working primarily in the infrared range, captures the oldest light in the universe and observes objects formed shortly after the Big Bang. Its infrared abilities allow it to concentrate on star-forming regions, celestial nurseries, and the formation of stars hidden from optical telescopes. Infrared light with longer wavelengths compared to visible light can penetrate interstellar dust, overcoming a limitation of the Hubble Space Telescope. The JWST can observe cooler objects emitting mainly in infrared, making it ideal for studying phenomena like exoplanets, brown dwarfs, and distant galaxies. As celestial bodies move away, their emitted light waves get stretched, causing a shift toward longer wavelengths, redshift. The JWST's infrared capabilities can detect these redshifted signals, capturing light from the early universe and offering insights into its formation and evolution. Energetic events, like black hole mergers or new star births, primarily emit in the infrared range, further expanding the JWST's investigative capabilities. The telescope can explore phenomena that would otherwise be hidden or invisible. The JWST supplements optical telescopes like Hubble by having enhanced sensitivity and the ability to detect infrared radiation. This ability allows it to peer further into space and dig deeper into astronomical history, revealing hidden astronomical wonders and providing a more comprehensive view of the universe's development. The JWST serves as our window into the earlier phases of cosmic evolution. Recently, it revealed something so astounding that it might prompt a reconsideration of the entire cosmological model of the universe. We've discovered enormous masses of galaxies at the very edge of the observable universe. These ancient galaxies existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, during the cosmic dawn. The puzzling part is that we're unsure about how such enormous structures formed so early in the universe's history. This discovery might lead us to reconsider our understanding of the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. Studying early galaxies is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of cosmic origins. The JWST can gain insights into how galaxies, stars, and planetary systems arose and evolved over billions of years. These observations also contribute to broader questions about the fundamental nature of the universe, including its composition, structure, and the forces governing its evolution. While the Hubble Space Telescope was groundbreaking for its time, it had limitations in observing the early universe. Its main limitation was its inability to effectively penetrate cosmic dust and detect the infrared light emitted by ancient galaxies. Older telescopes relied on visible and ultraviolet light observations, making it challenging to explore the early universe, where these wavelengths are absorbed or distorted by interstellar dust and gas. 
the James Webb Space Telescope represents a significant leap forward in observing galaxies from the universe's early stages. Unlike its predecessors, the JWST can observe celestial objects that formed within a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Using its infrared sensitivity and advanced imaging capabilities, the JWST has uncovered an abundance of ancient galaxies, offering remarkable clarity and detail in understanding the universe's evolutionary history. Preliminary results from JWST observations have stirred waves in established cosmological models. The detailed data challenges several aspects of prevailing theories, prompting cosmologists to reconsider fundamental principles governing how we understand cosmic evolution and structure. Discrepancies between observed data and theoretical predictions have sparked intense debates within the scientific community. JWST observations have revealed a larger number of galaxies in the early universe than anticipated by existing models, suggesting a more complex and rapid evolution process. Some observed early galaxies appear more developed than expected, challenging conventional models predicting slower development. The discovery of an unfathomable mass of galaxies challenges the assumed distribution and arrangement of large structures, revealing a more intricate and denser cosmic web than previously thought. These observations raise fascinating questions and avenues for further exploration. The existence of large structures challenges early models of cosmic structure formation, prompting researchers to refine models for a better explanation. Understanding how such vast structures gathered rapidly after the Big Bang presents a puzzle that requires an explanation that doesn't violate fundamental principles of cosmology. Significant disparities in the conditions of the early universe compared to predictions based on existing models have also been revealed. These differences could suggest previously unknown physical processes, unexpected conditions, or unidentified cosmic phenomena. In simple terms, these variations have prompted scientists to rethink and improve our models of the universe. Currently, all we can do is say that further exploration is required to incorporate these surprising observations into a more comprehensive understanding of the universe. Initial observations often provide exciting glimpses into the universe, but in-depth investigation sometimes reveals differences. For example, early observations may show specific properties or arrangements within distant galaxies that, upon closer examination, reveal fluctuations in their composition, structure, or evolutionary pathways. In conclusion, Enormous phenomena are incredibly complex and require careful investigation for us to accurately understand their true nature. Spectroscopy, a method that helps unravel the properties and history of celestial objects, is an example. It involves analyzing the light emitted or absorbed by astronomical objects. By examining the properties of the light, spectroscopy provides detailed information about the chemical composition, temperature, density, and movement of celestial bodies. This analysis helps us understand the origins, development, and contributions of celestial bodies to the cosmic tapestry. The JWST has uncovered numerous cases where initial observations differed from later investigations. For instance, initial observations of distant galaxies suggested a simple structure primarily dominated by lighter elements like hydrogen and helium, in line with theoretical expectations. However, Spectroscopic analysis using the JWST showed fascinating variations in elemental signatures, identifying heavier elements or compounds previously undetected or misunderstood in the early universe. This challenges conventional ideas about the early universe's chemical composition and the mechanisms responsible for their development and dispersion across vast distances. Similarly, Initial assumptions about galaxies in the early universe were based on preliminary observations suggesting a relatively uniform pattern of development and organization. However, more detailed investigations by the JWST revealed a much more diverse and complex array of chemical compositions within these galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to astound the scientific community with its unprecedented capabilities. As it delves deeper into the cosmos, it is not just expanding our knowledge of distant galaxies, but also unveiling new phenomena that challenge established ideas about the formation and evolution of the universe. One particularly intriguing aspect of the JWST's work is its role in examining the birth and death cycles of stars. By observing these processes in greater detail, 
astronomers are able to study the life cycle of stars that were previously out of reach. The telescope's infrared technology is crucial in this area. Stars often form within dense clouds of gas and dust, which can obscure them from visible light telescopes like Hubble. However, the JWST's ability to detect infrared light allows it to peer through these clouds, offering a clear view of star-forming regions. This capability helps scientists track how stars are born, grow, and eventually die, providing insights into the materials that are ejected into space during stellar deaths. These materials, including heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, are vital to the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. Additionally, the JWST is investigating the nature of supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of most galaxies. These mysterious objects are believed to play a significant role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. The telescope's ability to observe the infrared spectrum is helping astronomers uncover the hidden mechanisms behind black holes, such as how they influence the surrounding stars, gas, and dust. This research is contributing to our understanding of how galaxies grow and change over time, especially in the very early stages of the universe. Another remarkable feature of the JWST is its potential to study exoplanets. By analyzing the atmospheres of distant worlds, scientists hope to detect signs of habitability, such as the presence of water, organic molecules, or even signs of life. These findings could have profound implications for the search for extraterrestrial life, offering new insights into the conditions that make a planet suitable for life. 